Ismail Jude, he's a photojournalist in Gaza, has posted his last message. He said goodbye, and he said congratulations to the martyrs of Gaza, while acknowledging the hypocrisy, the hypocrites of the world. Ayman al Jadi wrote, he doesn't know how much longer he has, but he hopes that people will remember him in a beautiful way and that he'll remain in our hearts. Moratez has said goodbye. He said he's no longer documenting and now is the time to focus on just surviving. I spoke to Thair Abu Rayesh. He is a photojournalist on the ground in the north. He said that a bomb killed 50 inhabitants of his neighbor's home today. He said there is nowhere to go. He cannot leave. Israel has now had tanks and they are on the ground all over. You can't go from the north to the south or south to the north or anywhere. You cannot leave. Mansour from Gaza News Live put a picture of Mu'taz and said to make dua for them. Mansour decided with his wife that his wife and children would leave Gaza and he would stay because he's an English speaker. He's gone to school in Canada and he can help document in English. They're risking their lives to document for us to understand. And Bisan wrote about how she no longer has hope that she's going to live more than a few weeks or maybe a few days. I know all of us feel hopeless and enraged and I don't know what this video is going to do. I'm just making it to say we bear witness, we bear witness, we bear witness.